Golden Cup Explorer Goldplay Mining, ticker AUC, started the new year with a bang. The company just revealed very promising results of its exploration campaign at the Big Friend project that was done last year. Today, we're talking to CEO Catalin Killefliskli to get his comments on the news. Catalin, good to talk to you again. Bjorn, nice to see you. Happy New Year to you and everybody that's following Goldplay. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we certainly hope it's going to be a happy new year and a prosperous one, uh, too. Uh, as I uh, just said, um, there was some exciting news you published at the beginning of this week on the Big Frank property. Just uh, before we talk about the results, uh, just to remind our audience, please tell us what Big Frank is about and why you picked it up in the first place. Sure. Yeah, as a quick reminder, you know, Goldplay has a real dual focus. Uh, we have a big focus in BC, in Canada, and then a second focus in uh, Portugal with more near-term producing assets. So the focus in BC is really trying to find the next major discovery. And uh, Big Frank is exactly the prime project to hopefully deliver on that. And the reason behind that is uh, twofold. One, there's been a little bit of work done historically by various people, but not much here and there, uh, which showed significant potential for high-grade gold, high-grade silver, high-grade copper. Uh, we are the first company to consolidate the entire district. So Big Frank now sits as a one big project, which has never been done before, that is now under option for Goldplay. Uh, and what we've done last year, as soon as we've signed the deal, we had our own team on the ground, try to validate this big theory of a big, big high grade project. Uh, and the results we've announced earlier this week really validates that theory. You know, we've been able to confirm uh, this is a really high grade gold project. And, you know, there's big, big silver grades, big copper grades. Uh, and knowing that we are onto something big, We've already been very proactive about it. So what we have done back in December, we've already submitted the, an application with the BC government for drilling. So we are way ahead of that. Uh, but more importantly, we've also been proactive about securing the funding required for, for drilling. So Goldplay sits in a situation now where we basically, we are set to drill this summer, both from the fact that we have the money in the bank more importantly, we've been able to validate our theory of a, of a really promising project with the recent results, which we can talk about in more detail. And third, you know, the fact that uh, we expect the permit to be granted in time for beginning of drilling this summer. Oh, well, that certainly sounds uh, like you achieved what you set out to achieve uh, there at Bear Frank with the exploration program last year. So uh, tell us a bit in more detail. Uh, what, what was the you did there and what were the results? You're talking hybrid gold, silver and copper? Yes. Yeah. So we were basically a team of geologists spent about, you know, 10 days on the project last year. We put a bunch of samples uh, and did a lot of reconnaissance. So what the, as a result of that, um, we've actually made a brand new discovery. Uh, the geologists discovered a, a brand new vein that has never been known before and have sampled that vein. And this is really what we've announced earlier this year. By sampling that vein, uh, we've been able to get over 1.2 kilograms of silver. So very impressive silver grades, um, almost half an ounce of, of gold and, um, and about, I think was about 4% copper. Uh, also on the other side of the project, in other areas, we've been able to get up to an ounce of gold um, in, in other samples and you know, anywhere between 1% to 2% copper. Uh, with silver grades that are also not uh, negligible. So again, during the program, we've been able to kind of validate the fact that the project holds significant mineralization, which now is the basis for our drilling campaign. So, you know, we will be doing drilling on, on targets that have been already kind of proven uh, by the fact that been sampled by us and previous people. Um, so we're hoping to have a successful drilling campaign this summer. So, uh, of course, uh, you, you alluded to that before you can start the drilling um, with whatever outcome, uh, you have to get the permits in hand, you have to uh, have a drill contractor probably, you have to, uh, with the funding you have, you, you said, so uh, that will want you out there. 
when yes. you say samba, what, what kind of are we talking about here? Is that, uh, uh, we're early talking summer? really probably uh, July, August. Uh, it's really because, you know, we want to have the prime summer season. And this in area still, it's um, covered with, with uh, snow for most part of spring. So we want to have the ground as clear as we can. So really, that's the reasoning behind trying to aim the drilling campaign for July, August. But also, you know, that being said, uh, this is a program that will also be drilled year round, uh, regardless of snow, uh, if and when uh, the project gets bigger, right? So we're just trying to drill, do the drilling over summer now because it's a lot less expensive, really. That's what it comes down to. Okay. Wait, yeah. That's always a big factor, right? You, you want Absolutely. to make a discovery for the least money possible, of course. And That's of course, um, uh, as you said, you, you have the projects in, in Portugal and uh, you will probably be, or in all probability, we'd be working on this and we'll be hearing from this before June and August. And at least I hope so. That's absolutely correct. We've actually, if you recall, we've announced the drilling starting in Portugal late last year. So we, we are not literally waiting for results and we are still drilling in Portugal. So in terms of news flow, uh, which I think investors always ask, what's the news flow going to be like? Well, we're going to be having um, consistent news flow coming out of Portugal, also BC, because as we get going with drilling planning and everything, we'll be making more announcements um, and, um, you know, stay tuned for that. And I think more importantly, what, people should expect from World Play this year, it's a time to focus. If you may recall, you know, we have a lot of projects, both in BC and Portugal. Uh, we have been actively looking at prioritizing things. So try to find the focus, uh, both in BC and Portugal. So for the non-core assets, we already did discussions with various groups to either JV or try to extract value out of things we won't be able to focus, right? So uh, this is a year where we will hopefully um, establish the main focus for BC and the main focus for Portugal. So we are a company that's very targeted on what it's doing with its money and with the investor's money, and then trying to extract value from the non-core assets through joint venture and other type of transactions. Okay, well, certainly sounds uh, like uh, you will have a very interesting year, um, to say the least, and a busy one too, if, if all this uh, is to be done. So uh, thank you very much for taking the time and bringing this uh, up to speed on this. Um, if anyone would like more information on the company, I encourage you to visit their website or for information in German, go to goldinvest.de and you will find everything in our profile section. And of course, for more video updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you, Catalin. Good talking to you and uh, best of luck with all the drilling. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye.